I received this question from my niece to help solve this question. Now the question is asking that we should find the area of the shaded portion. Now if you look at the compound shape here, you find that you got two parts shaded. The semicircle and the triangle. So we're going to find each of their area. To begin with, I can find the area of the semicircle but first finding the area of a full circle and then halve it. And so to begin, let me find the area of full circle. Now you know that the area of a full circle can be calculated with the formula pi times the radius squared. Now pi is given by 22 over 7, or sometimes 3.142. And then multiply this by the radius. Now, if you look at the shape here, you can find that this distance here on the bottom is actually the distance from here to here. And that's represent the diameter. And you know the diameter is twice the radius. In other words, the radius is twice the diameter. So if the, if the diameter is 40 centimeter, the radius is going to be half of it, which is going to be 7. So we come down here up here and replace the radius with 7. That's 7 squared. Now you know 7 squared means 7 times 7 or 49. So let's simplify this. It's going to be 22 over 7 times 7 times 7 because 7 squared means 7 times 7. Now if you try to solve this, you can see that 7 here will cancel out to 7, leaving us 7 and 22. And so if you multiply these two numbers, you're going to have 154 centimeter squared. So to find the area of the semicircle, you have to have this answer. So area of semicircle, okay, which is actually the shaded part, could be 154 divided by 2. This is going to give us 77 centimeter squared. So the area of the semicircle here is actually 77. And I'm going to do something here just to help you see what I want to do. Uh, label here 77 centimeter squared. That's the area of the semicycle. So we go back to our next question. We got to find the area of this shaded right angle triangle. And you know that the area of your triangle can be calculated with the formula, which I'm going to call here uh, the base times the height, and then you divide this by 2. Now the base here is 14 centimeters and the height is 19 because here also is also 19 and it's just uh just same height really. Okay, so we divide the, the product by two. So we take up the base which is 14 and multiply it by the height which is 19, and then you divide this by two. Now if you work this out with a calculator. You're going to have 133 centimeter square. So the area of this triangle, the shaded triangle here, is going to be 133 centimeter square. And I'm just going to, um, just to label it, okay, uh, 133 centimeter square. Now, if Maybe the question may be asked to find the total area of the shaded part. All you needed to do is to add on 77 to 133. And if you do that, that's going to give you, I think, going to give you 210 centimeters squared. But in this question, we're not really looking for the total surface area. We just needed the area of each of the shaded part. And that's what we got here.